Carlo Tech back at it again with another vlog. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Oh, uh, what a weird random day. So let me start you guys off by giving you guys a cold start, but I recorded on my phone, so. Yeah, oh, I gotta show you what I did. I added a uh, little intakes to my Z, but before I show you that, uh, let's get right into it. Uh, we have some, okay, well, if you guys remember George's old wheels, he had Verdovin wheels. He sold them to a couple supporters, which is fucking badass. They came down and we chatted a bit. One of the dudes, I forgot his name, my apologies. I'll put his IG right here though. He wanted to hear my exhaust, but we ended up just racing. So that's what we went to go do. Here's the clip of that. All right, so your boy is about to run a 350Z DE. It's a supporter. Uh, he wanted to run it, try it out my Z. Although my car is not retuned yet and it's not running its full potential. I said, fuck it, why not? Let's give it a shot anyways. So let's see how I do. This is a car that I raced. DE full bolt on, plenum intakes tuned by Saul. My man's got fucking wheels in here. <laughs> Are you gonna miss your wheels, George? Nah. No? I got these. You got these? George just sold his old wheels to these guys. Huh? Wanna show them what's next, George? Oh, yeah, and then look what else George is selling today. 
No. <laughs> Goodbye, bumper. George is on a roll. He's making moves. It's time for a change. That's what I need LEDs for my rear. Fuck. And they came from San Diego. Fucking crazy. Like a two hour drive from here. Bolt on DE with plenum spacer, intakes, and tune. I think that's all he had. I remember. He did have extra weight, so who knows how big of a difference it would have been, but. Either way, I don't know guys, for those of you that don't have Z's and are looking to get into Z's, I really, really recommend you getting an HR or a VHR because that's really where the power is at. Unless you get a D and you boost it or you supercharge it, but because it's cheaper to do it, but if you're planning to stay in A, get an HR. You can be full bolt-on DE running on E85 and a basic tune HR will still beat it. So. I don't know. And it's crazy because when I first got my Z, I didn't even know the difference between a DE and an HR. I just got fucking lucky and got an HR. Like there was two Zs in the, on the lot. Uh, I had a DE and an HR, but the DE was automatic and I really wanted standard with stick shift. And I just got the 07 HR. I got it at 80K miles. I paid 1400 for it. So if you're looking for a Z and it has way less miles and it's around that price range, get it. Because <laughs> I paid $1,400 for this and it had 80K miles. And yeah, I got it. Guys, there's a lot of people that don't make, don't make a lot of money. There's a lot of people that talk shit about financing. Don't fucking worry about none of that shit. Just go out there and finance you're gonna have to work on your credit regardless because you need good credit to get into a home you're gonna need credit regardless so i financed a z luckily i paid it off already i paid it off within two two three years and i've had it for almost four and a half years now so i've had it paid uh, it was such a relief when i got the pink slip to that car i don't know it's a good feeling but i don't know now i'm just going all over the place so yeah i really recommend you get an hr Definitely, definitely get an HR or VHR. That's where you'll make good power for NA. So yeah, after that, uh, George, I, don't, I didn't even know. George fucking told me last minute that he was selling his wheels and selling his fucking, his front bumper. So they picked that up. Got a new front bumper coming for George. <laughs> I want to buy some anything. All over you, George. 2018 right here. Look at the fucking mint paint on this thing. I should miss my car like this. Clean? Fucking baby. I had to. <laughs> <laughs> and while they were installing the bumper, I bought filters for my Z, which let me show you guys now before I end this vlog. I'm actually gonna upload this in a couple of hours, maybe an hour or two. Because I did not vlog yesterday, so I'm fucked. I'm vlogging today and uploading today. But uh, yeah, let me show you these filters really quick. Oh, and I got new side skirts. I'll roll the clip for you right now. I got the diffuser out. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to bolt it up today. And I'm just going to clean this up and show you guys the before and after. Look how bad it is. Yeah, it's pretty bad so I'm gonna clean these up really well and I ordered some uh, splitter rods for this because uh, I'm gonna be using two rods to support the middle piece because the uh, side ones get bolted onto the rear bumper and I also picked up new side skirts for my car what do you guys think don't ask me what side skirts these are because I do not know well I can't wait but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off I'm gonna use some Tokyo wax. I'll put the detailer on first. Get this cleaned up. Whew. Those fucking side skirts came off a WRX. Don't ask me which ones they are because I have no idea. I found them. I said, fuck it. I'm gonna make them work. And I thought it was pretty cool because if you notice my skirt drop down right here these 
these side skirts actually end right before the drop so it curves in to right here which would be pretty dope i thought it looks pretty cool you guys will see when i slap them on i gotta paint them they're still here but uh let me pop this open so i can show you guys really quick okay so let me show you what i did it's called a pvc delete i didn't i never actually deleted it i had it wide open like i showed you guys in the clip now <laughs> oh, that's too big i feel like it's best off on that side but either way i need a baby clamp unless yeah, it's fucking get it onto there good luck because i have that one right there ow it's hot yeah what up I don't know, that looks pretty cool. A little baby intake. I'm gonna go to the store right now and buy one for this side because I just have it open. I definitely gotta add one there. So I ended up adding a little filter in there, added it on this side. Now my car looks fast. There's a couple of things I gotta do to the engine bay before uh, my Vegas trip which I will talk to you guys in a little bit about. Uh, I don't want to say too much. I'm going to have to surprise you. That's going to get fixed. Don't worry about that. I'll get more into that a little later. I don't want to give you guys too much info. I got a lot of things in store for the Z. Um, there is a show out in Vegas. For those of you that don't know or don't follow me on IG, I already posted it on Instagram. I'm going to an event out there called Slammed Enough. It's going to be November 3rd at the Silverton Hotel. Uh, I don't have too much info on it. I, all the info is on my IG. I don't remember off the top. Sorry So I will be there November 3rd Be there. I want to meet you guys. It's gonna be dope. Society coming fresh kicks me George George is actually taking his car That's why he's actually fixing his car so he can have it ready for that show I got a couple things to do. Like I said, I got installed my side skirts my diffuser. Oh, it's my diffuser right here What the hell I'm pointing at? And what else do I got to do? And a couple things to the engine bay, which I'm not going to tell you yet. You guys are going to have to wait for that. But, uh, yeah, that is it. That is it. I am going to end the vlog. If you're not supporting the movement, techlo.com. You already know what to do. Link is down in the description. Go get that. Let's check the subscriber count really quick. 53K. 53k that's fucking dope we're almost to 55k and once we get to 55k i will be doing another giveaway oh man this i'm excited there's just so much shit to do to these cars and i can't believe like uh, i don't know i'm just fucking happy that is it i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you smash that thumbs up for me subscribe to the channel if you're not already and guys remember why you started